Science Standard children, welcome back to the science video session. In this science video session, you are going to learn the lesson Animals in Daily Life from Biology. Come, let's enter into the lesson. Unit 5 Animals in Daily Life Introduction Children in earlier class, we have studied how plants are used in our daily life. Now, you are going to learn how animals are useful in our daily life. Animals are closely associated with human beings in their daily life. They are the greatest gift of nature. They are of great economic importance to our nation. Animals contribute many things to our use as food, clothing and transportation. Let us learn the importance of animals and how to protect and maintain them. Come, let us move on to the lesson. Animal products used as food. In that, first we are going to learn the animal product milk. Milk is white liquid food produced by the mammary glands of mammals. It is the primary source of nutrition for infant mammals. We use milk in our daily life for the following. Milk is the daily essential product which is obtained from animals like cows, buffaloes, goats and camels. Milk is necessary in our daily diet to prepare tea, coffee, ice creams, chocolates, sweets and other related products. Highly recommended nutritive food containing protein and calcium are made from milk like paneer, cheese, cream, butter, ghee and curd. The next animal product, eggs. Eggs are laid by female birds of many different species to produce their egg ones like hen, duck, turkey and ostrich. We use this in our daily life for the following. They are used in our daily diet to get energy and good health. It is highly nutritious and rich in protein. Eggs have 6 grams of high quality protein. A protein packed breakfast helps to sustain mental and physical energy throughout the day. Consuming egg daily is good for any age people. Next, meat. Meat is animal flesh that is eaten as food. Most often it is used to describe skeletal muscle and fat that is found with it. Some people eat the flesh of animals such as chicken, sheep, rabbit, pig, goat, camel, buffalo, fish, crab, prawn, lobster and many more. Animal meat is considered as a part of diet by most of the people. Meat consumption is considered essential for its nutritive values. Especially chicken breeding is done in large scale in the form of poultry farming for economic purpose. Do you know where from honey comes or how it is produced? Have you seen a beehive where many bees are seen buzzing about? Bees collect nectar that is sweet juices from flowers, convert it into honey and store in their honeycomb. Honey is a sweet liquid produced by honey bees from the nectar of flowers. It is extracted from beehives by us. Raw organic wild honey is extracted from selected hives by tribal honey hunters who collect it from jungles. Honey has more medicinal values. And the worker bees collect the nectar from the flowers. They nourish the egg ones and repay the beehive and also protect it. Poultry farming. Poultry farming is the process of raising domesticated birds such as chicken, duck, turkey and geese for the purpose of getting meat and egg for food. Poultries are reared in large number of chickens being the most common one. Chickens are broadly of two types. They are layers and broilers. Layers, which is egg-laying chickens. Broilers, one that are rare for meat. Poultry farming requires safe and sufficient space for the birds. Plenty of water, proper ventilation and regular feed that is rich in protein, fats and vitamins. 
poultry feed is comprised of maize, wheat, millet and raised bran in mashed form and groundnut cakes. Next, diseases affecting poultry birds. Poultry birds suffer from various diseases caused by some microbes. It is important to keep their shelters clean and get the birds vaccinated against common diseases. Some of the common diseases of poultry birds are salmonellosis, that is diarrhea, caused by bacteria. Then, ranicate disease, that is fowl pox, caused by virus. Then, aspergillosis is caused by fungus. Animal products used as clothing. Animal hair has a great demand. The hair from goat and sheep is used for manufacturing woolen clothes, shawls and blankets, mufflers and socks. Similarly, horse hair is used as bristles in small painting brushes. Even fur of animals including the skin is used to make warm and modern style clothes. Animal Fibers Some fabric fibers such as cotton, jute, silk are called natural fibers. Cotton and jute are example of plant fibers. Wool and silk fibers are example of animal fibers. Wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep or goat. It is also obtained from the hair of rabbit, york and camel. Silk fiber is obtained from the cocoon of silkworm. Let's see the wool and silk. First, wool. Wool is the fiber derived from the fur of animals of the Carpinae family, principally sheep. The hair of other mammals like goat, york and rabbit may also be called wool. Mostly, wool is produced from the outer coat of sheep. The processing of wool involves five major steps. They are shearing, grading or sorting, washing or scouting, carding and spinning. Let's see the process involved in the manufacture of wool. First, shearing. The fleece of the sheep is removed from its body. This is called shearing. Then, grading or sorting. The fleece from the same sheep may be different from different parts of the body. It is sorted out into separate piles of similar nature. This is known as grading or sorting. Then, washing or scouting. The sheared skin is washed thoroughly with soap and detergents to remove dirt, dust and grease. Next, guarding. The dried wool is carefully removed. These fibers then pass to the rollers which are covered with fine sheet of thin wire teeth. This process arrange the wool into a flat sheet called a web. Next, spinning. The web is drawn into narrow strand and then passed to the spinning machines. The spinning machines twist the strands into yarn. The yarn is wound to form balls of wool. This yarn is either weaved into fabric or retained for knitting. Characteristic features of wool It is resistant to heat, water, wear and tear. It absorbs moisture. Wool insulates against cold, so wool is a good insulator. And it does not wrinkle easily. Uses of Wool Wool is a multifunctional fiber with a range of diameters that makes it suitable for clothing, household fabrics and technical textiles. Two thirds of wool is used in the manufacture of garments including sweaters, dresses, coats and active sportswear. Blended with other natural or synthetic fiber, wool is used as adds drape and grease resistant blankets, anti-static and noise absorbing carpets. Silk. Have you ever attended marriage functions? What type of dresses the bride and bridegroom wear? What is it made up of? Silk is a secretion of the silk moth. Silk is obtained from the cocoon of silk worms, which feed on the mulberry leaves. Silk worms live for a very short time, only about two months. During this period, they pass through four stages of development. 
they are eggs caterpillars cocoon and adult moth these stages are called as a life cycle of a silk moth the cultivation and production of silk is known as sericulture an adult female silk moth lays about 500 eggs the eggs are then kept in cold storage for 6 weeks the eggs are placed in the incubator after about 10 days the eggs hatch out and the larvae spend the next 35 days eating mulberry leaves the silk worm spend about 5 days producing silk and spinning its cocoon of a single long thread the cocoons are boiled to make it easier to unwind the silk and kill the pupae inside if the silk moths were allowed to hatch the long silk fiber will get turned by the hatching of moth cocoons are unwind and then the individual silk filament is reeled together to form a thread lodge enough for weaving the silk thread is cleaned dyed woven into fabric characteristic features of silk it is very soft comfortable and versatile it can be easily dyed it is the strongest natural fiber it has a poor resistance to sunlight exposure uses of silk silk has natural beauty and elegance it gives comfort in warm weather and warmth during colder months it is used in the manufacture of classical and high fashion clothes modern dresses particularly silk sarees the elegant of beautiful dresses it is also used in household for making wall hangings curtains rugs and carpets it is also being used in the manufacture of surgical threads for sutures do you know india is the world's second largest silk producing country kanjipuram tiruvannam and arami are famous places for silk production in tamil nadu hazards in silk and wool industry hazard is any industry has the potential to cause injury ill health or damage to human being and their property or the environment hazards in silk industry generally the worker in silk industry affected with arthritis as they stand for a long time reeling the silk into yarn they also develop back pain and visionary problems and skin injuries sometimes they may suffer from respiratory problems like asthma and bronchitis due to poor ventilated area of their work similarly hazards in wool industry the workers are exposed to various chemicals and detergents which causes allergies of the skin they also get infected to anthrax bacterium which leads to fatal dead diseases called the sorter disease anthrax is caused by bacillus anthracis by handling contaminated animal hair and contact with the livestock during hair processing the symptoms are fever cough and shortness of breath similar to a typical pneumonia sometimes it may leads to nausea vomiting and diarrhea so what are the treatment given to the workers working in these industries penicillin or ciprofloxacin is given as the best medicine for treatment of anthrax the spread of the disease is controlled by the vaccination of animals and by burning or burial of infected animal scar cases it is the duty of the employer to take care of the industrial workers by providing hygienic and well ventilated workplace sericulture and ahimsa silk that is peace silk sericulture or silk forming is the cultivation of silk worm to produce silk it is the rearing of silk worms to obtain silk ahimsa silk it is also known as peace silk in 1992 a government officer from andhra pradesh state of india proposed a himsa way of silk production for the making of silks without killing the silk worm it involves a human method specifically letting the worms to hatch and then using the vacant cocoons traditional silk manufacturing methods involve boiling the cocoons of the silk worms and then sorting out the threads which is used later in silk production It has been supported by many people who are interested in the welfare of animals. Do you know study of breeding of animals and their maintenance is called animal husbandry. 
animal protection and maintenance protecting animal is like protecting our own children or parent they are living things similar to human beings as an elite most intelligent and responsible human being on the planet it is our duty to protect all the living organisms on earth the human tendency and conscience towards the animals should be considered to protect and safeguard the animals hence as human it becomes a great responsibility and obligatory to protect the animals the ministry of environment forest and climate change has released four new gazette notifications under the prevention of cruelty to animals act 1960 to regulate dog breeders animal marketers aquarium and pet fish owners this progress has come about as a joint effort by animal protection groups with the protection of animals we actually protect ourselves and protect the environment so we have to love and protect the animals and treat them as our family members